Hello and welcome to the June 2nd edition of the Capital OTB Daily Report, sponsored by CapitalOTBBet.com. This is Mike Callahan from the Capital OTB Marketing Department. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning and a lot to talk about. We had the Belmont Stakes post position draw yesterday, eight going to post uh, this Saturday in the Belmont Stakes. We'll talk a little bit about how the field sets up there. Also wanted to mention specifically the special wagers that are going to happen this weekend. You're going to have a special pick six that we'll talk about, special pick four, and then you'll have a host of doubles uh, linking Friday stakes races with Saturdays as well. So wanted to mention those. We'll give you the rundown as far as Wednesday goes, and then we'll talk to you a little bit about promos going on here at Capital OTV. Mentioned a little bit yesterday when I did the daily report as well, but do want to start with the Belmont Stakes. Again, post position draw was yesterday, and here's the field in numerical order. Burbonic drew the rail 15 to 1 on the morning line. Post position number two is going to be essential quality. Mentioned it yesterday, finishing fourth in the Kentucky Derby. He's going to be your 2 to 1 morning line favorite. Be interesting to see how it plays out, but again, mentioned it uh, also yesterday on the podcast. Uh, with uh, Brad Cox mentioning that ever since day one, they thought essential quality was a, f- a perfect fit for this race. So we'll see how it plays out. But he is your morning line favorite at two to one. Round Bauer, your Preakness winner, drew the three hole. He's three to one on the morning line. Hot Rod Charlie, seven to two, drew the four hole. Then you have France D- Go De Ina, big long shot in this race, drew post position number five at 30 to one. Known agenda, drew. Post number six at six to one off the ninth place finish in the Kentucky Derby. And then you have Rock Your World, who's nine to two on the morning line. I think he's still interesting. I know I mentioned it uh, yesterday as well, as he was my Kentucky Derby uh, horse that I had on top. And uh, he drew uh, no chance at the start uh, based on the fact he got pinched back. He's a horse that likes to be fourthly placed. And there's not a lot of speed in this race. So uh, unofficially at this point, I think I'm going to use two horses in this race, and he will be one of those horses. And then overtook at 20 to 1, drew the eight post and the outside post in a field of eight for the Belmont Stakes. So that's the rundown for post position draw. And again, Belmont Stakes coming up on Saturday. Also want to mention uh, the the uh, special wagers that I had, was talked about. Uh, there's going to be a two-day pick six. And it's going to be the sequence of Friday races, three of them, including the True North, Belmont Gold Cup, and New York Stakes. And then on Saturday, round out the other three races for that two-day pick six are going to be the Jiper, the Met Mile on Saturday, and the Belmont Stakes to round out that pick six. So, again, a lot to look forward to. Specifically, uh, a couple races on Friday if you're looking for some names in the True North, which will kick off. That two-day pick six, you're going to have Frenze Fire, Flagstaff, looking at bikinis in there. And then the New York Stakes is going to have Magic Attitude, Virginia Joy, horse that just won uh, the North American debut uh, for Chad Brown. Then you have Harvey's Little Goyle and Mean Mary, both coming off victories as well. Uh, So they're just a loaded card, and that's going to specifically be the two-day pick six uh, with that sequence there. There's going to be a two-day pick four including two races on Friday with the Belmont Gold Cup and the New York Stakes, and then on Saturday, the Manhattan and the Belmont Stakes. And then there's going to be a host of doubles, including the New York Stakes Met Mile double. So that's going to be the New York Stakes on Friday, the Met Mile on Saturday. Then there's going to be another double with the Belmont Gold Cup and the Belmont Stakes. So take advantage of that uh, specifically as far as double goes. And then there's going to be two additional ones, including uh, the... Philly and Mare double, which is going to be the Better Roses on Friday and the Acorn on Saturday. And there's also going to be a sprint double as well with the True North and the Woody Stevens. So the True North on Friday and the Woody Stevens on Saturday. So again, there's terrific wagering options uh, throughout this uh, three days. You're going to have some stakes action on Thursday, and then we're going to kick off on Friday uh, all these special uh, pick sixes, pick fours, doubles, uh, and then obviously just terrific betting uh, and wagering options on Friday and Saturday and big fields. So take advantage of all of that here at Capital OTB. Do want to give you the rundown, though, on this Wednesday edition kickoff in the morning with South African Racing at 620. We'll have Hong Kong Racing starting at 645. Then we'll have UK Racing going from about 8 to noon. And then at noon, we'll kick off the afternoon action with Saratoga Harness. Monticello at 12.10, we'll have Harris Philly at 12.25, Belterra at 12.35, 
Then we'll have the Meadows at 1245. Thistle Downs will kick off at 1250. Parks at 1255. Finger Lakes at 110. Then we'll have Delaware at 115. Indiana Grand will start off at 225. Then we'll have Delta Downs Quarter Horse Racing at 4. Harrington at 430. We'll have Buffalo, Northfield, and Penn National kicking off at 6. Uh, Canterbury Park's going to start off at 610. Then you'll have Sayoto Downs at 615. Hoosier at 630. Evangeline at 650. And I do want to note, Penn National will start at 6. Evangeline will start at 650. Uh, and, and Mountaineer is going to be canceled on this Wednesday, but we are taking all nighttime thoroughbreds. So Penn National starting at 6, Canterbury starting at 610, Evangeline at 650. Those will all be full cards uh, of racing, so definitely want to note that. Uh, New Zealand will start off at 727. We'll have Emerald Downs kicking off at 9, and, and they're a terrific product as well, and they have 11,000 uh, in their pick six carryovers to take advantage of that pool at Emerald Downs kicking off at nine. And then we'll have Australian racing and Japan racing. Again, we're taking all nighttime thoroughbred on this Wednesday. And last but not least, want to hit you with some of the promos here at Capital OTB. Mentioned it yesterday. We have a loaded week coming up with a $200 pick four online bankroll with Seth Merrill on this Thursday. Uh, which is June 3rd. We've been doing really well with our bankrolls, giving away a lot of money, and this one's a free one. You go to capitalotb.com. Uh, you can sign up there. We'll choose 10 patrons to be attached to the plays, and then whatever money Seth makes on the early and late pick four bankroll plays at Belmont specifically will be dispersed among the team. So, again, sign up at capitalotb.com. On Friday, we're going to have the bounty bet. Right now the pool's at 1551. It's going to be attached to the late pick five at Belmont. Uh, and I did mention this yesterday. We had two patrons at the bounty bet last week. They were able to take home $207 each on top of hitting that late pick five at Belmont. So the bounty bet definitely pays. Uh, you know, Obviously, you want to be the only one to hit it to take down the full pool. But even with the fact that you do split it, uh, if there are two or more winners, there's still a lot of money to be made. So take advantage of the bounty bet on Friday, 1551 in the pool. We also have two promos going on on Belmont Stakes Day. We're going to have a $5,000 Belmont Syndicate. Team's already been uh, signed up at this point, and uh, good luck to the team. They'll have some plays. Again, we, we were able to make uh, a lot of money with the Syndicate and Kentucky Derby weekend, so hopefully we can do that again on Belmont Stakes Day. We're also going to have a $500 OTB Live bankroll at the Clubhouse Racebook, 7-Eleven Central Ave, stop down on Belmont Stakes Day. Uh, put your name in the bin. Uh, if you get selected, we're going to have 20 people selected total to the team. Uh, Seth will be wagering from about 1 to 6, and whatever money he makes with the $500 will be dispersed amongst the team. And then on Sunday, we're going to have the match bet promotion at the clubhouse as well, 7-Eleven Central Lab. A couple other promos to note. Tourney bets, which we have going on this Thursday through Sunday. A lot of great action. Again, go to capitalotv.com, click on the tourney bets icon. It'll take you to the actual website. There's free contests. There's paid contests as well, uh, a $25 paid contest every Sunday. Uh, and then also we have a 3% Churchill Downs bonus running every Churchill Downs racing day. And again, uh, the requirements wager $200 or more in multiples and exotics, and you'll get a 3% bonus back. And again, you must be enrolled in player rewards. So again, a loaded week coming up. Belmont Stakes talked a little bit about that. Uh, definitely take advantage of the specific and, and special wagers that I mentioned with a host of them kicking off on Friday. And again, we'll see you again tomorrow.